Right guys, in this video we are going to be creating or recreating the Vox newspaper animation inside of DaVinci Resolve. Now I made a video on this previously. I made this using DaVinci Resolve 18. It's been two years since then and a lot of things have changed. I have received a lot of positive feedback on this video and some tips and tricks which I'm going to be showing you in this video. So yeah, without wasting any more time, let's get straight into it. I have all my assets over here and let's dig in. Let's create our background. Let's search for solid color and drag that in. By the way, my track is set to the track height is set to the minimum. You can change that right over here. And you can also rename, uh, change that right over here as well. If you move this to the top and you can also rename the layers as well. So I can type in BG here. And for the color, let's go to generate over here in the inspector and use a color that is similar to this over here. Now we'll use a paper texture. Previously we used a uh, footage, but in DaVinci Resolve we actually have, so let's go to generators, Let me just remove this. Scroll down till you see vintage texture, drag, drag and drop it like so. And here we can disable the dark texture and we are left with this texture over here, which you can definitely play around the settings, change the texture size and flicker smoothness and all that stuff and see what it does. Um, what I'm going to do is go to settings and reduce the opacity so that we can get the mix of both the background color and the texture as well. Next up is headlines of the news. Let's just drag that in and you can also rename this as well. Go to file over here and you can easily rename it over here. It will be updated over here. Now let's just remove the color from here. We will search for a uh, Luma here. Make sure your search is set to all folders, otherwise you will not be able to see it. Search for Luma here, drag that onto this clip. You need to make sure that Fusion or OpenFX overlay is enabled. Once you do that, then you can just click on this area to remove the color from there. And then you can also uh, change the blur and all that stuff over here. Let's just apply a color to this. So color generator, drag and drop it and change its color to any color that you want. Click on OK. And this is how it's going to look. Now let's go to video here, reduce the size of this headline and change its position as well. And then we will add in our newspaper logo. Let's use New York Times logo and reduce the size and change the position. Now let's uh, create a line, a divider line over here. I'm going to hold the Alt key and create a copy of the solid color. And let's just change the position. Let's just change the crop left like so and change the crop top as well and crop bottom as well. And let's go to generate over here and change the line color like so. Go back to the settings and make adjustments to this. I hit Ctrl F on the keyboard and see how it looks full screen. And this is looking quite fine. Let's uh, change the crop right and make sure that it is under the title like so. So we have a visual balance in the in the design as well. Then let's add in the image and let's change the position, change the scale and change the position again and you know keep on playing with the position and the size like so and then I can just hold the alt key and move it to a new track to create a copy of it the one at the top I want that to be black and white we have this color compress over here put it on the on the layer which is at the top and I want to compress or just increase the compress saturation so now it's black and white and the layer on the at the bottom let's just add in the same color compressor to this. I'm going to increase the hue, saturation and the luminance and I'm going to change the target color to red color over here. Now I'm not seeing anything this is because it's right under this image. Go to the video over here and change its position. I can see we have this red colored um, image over here. 
uh, great you can do this with a color generator as well but since we are using color compressor so i thought we can use that as well uh, you can then go to target color and use any color that you want go to titles over here add in a text plus and you can type in today's date and then you can change the font and all that stuff go to shading tab we want to add in a background rectangle background around this text so we have to go to shading element 2 enable that and we want to set the appearance to border fill now we have a border around the characters we want the border around the text like so go to text and change the size and go to layout and change the position as well great um, now let's add in a highlighter so let's go to solid color hold the alt key and just move it to the top and let's change some settings we will increase the crop top and let's just change the position as well like that and make sure it's on top of the word that you're highlighting and go to the generator over here and change the color as well let's pick this color go to settings and change the composite mode and use the one that works best for you i think color burn looks great so let's just apply that and there we have it now for the animation let's start animating the the headline itself so let's just add in a push transition to this so find that layer over here and if it's difficult to apply this just expand this layer size and apply the push transition this is how it's going to look it's going to come from the left but you can change that you can make it come from the bottom so select push up and then let's just um, set the easing to out right so this is look something like this and then we want to have the same transition on the logo as well so let's select that and hold the alt key and copy the transition to a new to this logo layer so we'll have the same animation but you want to have a delay between them so just move it forward like so so this will appear one after the other i'm going to make sure that this is trimmed at the end here we have it and then let's animate this solid color line as well and for this we have to use a slide motion let's drag that in and you can see we have this kind of this flying from the left to right uh, but you want to kind of draw it so for that we have to set the direction to out and now it will start drawing it like so uh, but then we want to move it forward as well in time maybe right over here let's make sure that we trim it as well and then apply the push transition on these two as well holding the alt key and just applying them like so Again, we want to just move it forward in time a little bit. Add in the slide transition on these two clips as well. This one and this one. There we have it. Let's move the solid color forward in time. Maybe somewhere over here. I want this to be maybe start over here. And let's just trim that down. Trim this as well. And for the text maybe let's just move it forward somewhere over here let's play this yeah i think that looks great i think we are pretty much done with the edit page now if you want to you can then let's add in an adjustment clip because we want to create a slight zoom in and blur animation so let's just find an adjustment clip and put it at the top we want to create that zoom in animation Maybe let's just make this a little shorter. We will create it right over here. So move your playhead at that position. Let's go to the fusion page and let's add in a transform tool to this. And here we want the zoom in like so. So set this value. Uh, make sure you create keyframe as well. Let's go five frames back somewhere over here and set this to one. So you'll have an animation like this. Uh, you can go to the transform as well go to spline 
and click on the size then click on this icon select all and just click on this icon zoom to fit you will see these two keyframes you have to hit F on the keyboard to smooth that out then hit the T key to ease it into 100 this is how it's gonna look I think we need to move it forward in time so let's just uh, drag it like so to 65 and see what that looks let's just go to this keyframe and increase that a little bit more like so and then we will add in a blur to this so let's find the keyframes these are the keyframes over here and let's actually add the keyframe at frame 55 so set that to one over there so let's uh, on the blur add in a keyframe at frame 55 set that to zero go to frame 60 set that to maybe like two or maybe just, just increase this to I don't know five and then let's go to frame 65 and set this to zero let's take a look at it and the zoom is kind of I think it didn't apply so let's just do that again um, let's go to the size over here click on zoom to fit there we have it it didn't apply the easing so select all hit F and then with the ease I set this to ease into 100 so let's take a look at it one more time uh, there we have it and then let's add in a stop motion to this right over here let's set this to 3 and play the animation uh, we have that uh, choppy stop motion look in the animation over here uh, you can add as many effects as you want for example you can do a prism blur um, to add in the RGB split effect you can add in a lens distort as well and distort the image like so so yeah that is completely your choice how you want that to look um, you can also go to this image of Trump and add in a camera shake as well and if you add that and set the motion method which is set to sign if I, if I play the animation now yeah if you play the animation you can actually notice that we have this flickering and the reason is because the stop motion it just um, doesn't show the entire result the final result in the edit page but if I just disable this and go back uh, we should see some improvements over here so you can see the shake uh, looks pretty weird um, so we can what we can do is set the motion method to square wave and now we'll have that choppy uh, look as well into this uh, in this camera shake and you can control the intensity of that over here as well uh, so you have to apply it on both um, layers uh, but yeah once you are done you make sure you go back to the fusion and enable the stop motion and don't play the animation here just go ahead and render out your animation uh, if you want to play the or preview the animation just preview it right over here in the fusion page itself uh, but once you're happy you can just go ahead and export it in the deliver tab so yeah, that is pretty much it that's how easy it is to create a uh, Vox inspired newspaper animation in DaVinci Resolve. Um, so yeah, I hope this video was helpful. Hope it will help you in your own projects. If it was, do leave a like and also share it with your friends. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.